FTX was the biggest exchange to fall. Genesis, the biggest lender, Silvergate, may now represent the potential failure of the banking piece of crypto. Is another crypto crisis brewing? If so, it's nothing we can't handle, right? We've been through our fair share in the last 12 months with, of course, Terra Luna and uh, Celsius, BlockFi, FTX. I know I'm missing a bunch of others, right? Uh, and Genesis, there's one, right? So this is a little bit different, though, and it has to do with Silvergate's potential insolvency here and many people believe this would be a fresh crisis in an already fragile crypto ecosystem right now. But remember what we always say. And I want to say this because some people will say, Zach, you're just talking about negative news. You're starting FUD. No, I'm being realistic here. And here's the thing. This provides us a lot of opportunities if we look at it opportunistically, right? Rather than go crawl into a corner and cry ourselves to sleep, we've got to understand why this is so relevant, why it's so important, and act on it as investors. Because here's the thing we've always said, crypto is in its infancy stages and there needs to be fallout like this along the way. And this happens during bear markets, companies go insolvent, right? We wanna be prepared for the next bull cycle. How do we do that? Buying at low prices. So if we're looking at this with a glass half full, right? Kind of perspective, then this is something that we can take advantage of. Now, listen in here uh, by Deidre Bosa, uh, she does a nice job breaking this down and, and kind of what this means right now as we understand it in terms of the impact Silvergate insolvencies could have. If FTX was the biggest exchange to fall, Genesis, the biggest lender, Silvergate, may now represent the potential failure of the banking piece of crypto. And it kicks off a fresh new crisis in the space. Shares absolutely plunging this week after the bank said it had to delay the release of its annual report and was evaluating its ability to, quote, continue as a going concern. Now, insolvency would be a fresh crisis in this already fragile ecosystem, rippling across the sector anew. And that is because Silvergate, it has functioned as a so-called rails of crypto, connecting the U.S. crypto industry with the traditional financial system. So it plays a major role here and major players on all sides. They are now quickly pulling away from that infrastructure circle, Coinbase, Paxos on the crypto native side, JP Morgan on the tradition. Now, let me step in here real quick and we'll come right back to that. So Coinbase has come out. Uh, Circle has come out. Paxos has come out. Many other top exchanges have already come out and said, listen, we have no exposure to uh, Silvergate. So this could be kind of isolated. Now, there are a few exchanges, one including Kraken, who has not commented on if they have exposure to Silvergate. Uh, but many of the top exchanges out there have already come out and said, listen, we do not have exposure. Crypto.com is one of those. Uh, that's already come out and said that they don't have exposure as well. So that is some silver lining here uh, as it relates to Silvergate. Let's listen in. Wall Street side, which yes, covered the bank, now readjusting and downgrading its rating to underweight and withdrew its price target. This all raises the question yet again, how many more dominoes are there to fall in the crypto space and how much more money can be lost? Well, still a lot. One corner that I have watched and questioned very closely over the years is stable coins. Its entire value is derived from confidence, a belief that one circle or one tether, one USDC or one UST is worth one US dollar. Now, amid the many crises of confidence in crypto, tether, take a look at this is the largest stable coin by market cap, some $70 billion. It has shown some cracks. You can see in this chart that it has unpegged from the dollar a few times over the last 12 months. Circle has remained relatively more stable, but as we await their long promised audits, they remain vulnerable in a still very vulnerable industry. And Silvergate is just the latest to show that, guys. So Deirdre, I, I guess, I mean, if you take a look at the way sentiment has played out here, we, we know that Silvergate has been a huge catalyst for this. If there is something else, if you're gonna look at this, if there's something else to keep a close eye on besides those stable coins, how about the more established ones? We've talked a lot today about the Bitcoins and the Ether. Well, I can actually step in here and we'll kind of end this video right here because I actually did take a look at Bitcoin. And here's the thing. Bitcoin has been pretty stable. And here's how we know that. We look at people who have held their Bitcoin or continue to buy Bitcoin. And a lot of those people still have their long positions, their hodl positions. So 
again, I think Bitcoin is completely different than stable coins in this case, completely different than Silvergate going under. Many of the Bitcoin maxis do not hold their crypto on any exchange. They don't have exposure to any of these Silvergate type companies. They take it into their own hands. They have their own custody of their crypto, not your keys, not your crypto. They take that to heart. So I've actually dove into that. It has not really impacted Bitcoin all that much. Now, some shorts uh, were, uh, excuse me, some longs were liquidated uh, recently. And, and of course, some people just kind of, you know, because of the fear and uncertainty and doubt around the cryptocurrency market, maybe, you know, stabling up or, or getting out of the market right now, that was that kind of flash crash we saw a couple nights ago. Uh, but we're going to be keeping a close eye on Silvergate's potential insolvency and what it could mean in terms of a potential crisis in crypto, at least in the short term. Now, again, we saw what happened with FTX. Our markets went down, but what happened? We hit bottoms and then Bitcoin came all the way back up to 25,000. Right there, that was a massive opportunity to make eight or $9,000 on Bitcoin alone. We also saw other cryptocurrencies in the top 25, top 30, three to four X. So again, I'm looking at this as a big opportunity, okay? It's not a great thing by any means. We don't wanna see Silvergate go under here, but if it does, we're probably gonna get another big dip. We're probably gonna get another big opportunity to add to our favorite positions ahead of the next bull cycle. Let me know what you guys think about this down below. Appreciate you guys as always for stopping back by the channel. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.